Radio Geek here with another D-Star video. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the call sign menu. Um, this is where a lot of people get hung up with D-Star and not understanding what it does and doesn't do. So real quick, I'm on uh, one of our local repeaters. This is the Rice Lake D-Star repeater on UHF. And this is programmed into my memory this way. So when we go into the call sign menu, you know, look for your CS button, uh, whether it's on your 4100 or your 51, 52, um, maybe in different locations. But on the 51, it's right here across the bottom. You'll have to be in F4 or menu function 4. And as you can see, I have both CQCQCQ CQ, CQ set up in the UR call. So it'll talk out and not sending any specific commands other than to send my voice out through the repeater. We have the R1 set up. It's uh, actually using my call sign, that repeater is, and then uh, also set up to go out over the gateway. So normally the repeater is connected to the Reflector 19 Bravo. So anytime I talk using these settings, I will always go out over that reflector if it is still connected. And then you see the my call. So. The big thing with this is the my call always has to be set. So you always need a station call there. That is your call sign or my call sign. Um, so put whatever your call sign is. Maybe it's your uh, your wife's car and she's got her own call sign. Then she would maybe have uh, your her call sign in there as well. Um, if you you can set up. If you select that, you can set up multiple call signs. So, for instance, some of my family members have their call sign in here that they could use if they're operating the radio. And all you need to do is select it, and now it will go out over the air as KD9APO instead of KC0WKP. We'll put that back. Um, the next thing is the R1, R2. These are some of the most important things as well. So that R1 needs to be set to the repeater call sign. I have another video detailing how you can set that automatically, or you can type it in uh, using the on-screen touch keyboard or on a portable by selecting uh, the letters. Um, R2, in order to do any gateway functions, you need to have space G, the call sign of the repeater, space G in there. That tells the repeater controller, hey, I want whatever I'm doing to go out over the gateway to whatever I'm linked to, whether it's a repeater or reflector, um, you do need that. Now, if you go in here and you clear it, or you just select not used, that's fine as well. Just be aware, right now, if I were to key up on that repeater, all of my audio would stay local to that repeater. It would not go out over the gateway at all. So generally this isn't what you want to do, but I have had uh, a couple times where I've talked to a friend of mine locally here where we were on the repeater. We didn't want to tie up all the other repeaters on the reflector, but we still wanted to listen to the reflector. So we uh, went to local mode as this is set up right now, and we were able to talk over the repeater and still listen for anybody talking out on the other repeaters and hotspots connected to the reflector. So we're going to go back to gateway now. Your call. This is what does all the functions of DSTAR. All the linking, unlinking, info, echo commands, everything that makes DSTAR so nice and user controlled. So we can select that UR call. Now again, this can vary a little bit in most of the radios, but any of the newer radios that have um, the ID51, ID5100, ID the 4100, um, the, the ID5052, they're going to be pretty similar as far as this menu goes. So I like to have a few things saved in my your call sign. So in my your, your, your call sign, I have an info command, an unlink command, an echo command. So just for fun, we're going to do the unlink. And all that is is sending a U in that UR call. So I'll key up. We'll hear that repeater come back. Not linked. And it just unlinked it. So repeater, not linked. Now we want to change. We can go echo. So the echo is basically a parrot. If this, if you want to 
test how well you're hitting the repeater as you're whether you're on portable or mobile or even a bait control station you can use this to see how well your audio is getting to the repeater and make sure that you're getting nice and clean audio into the repeater so we'll test that here and all it is is again sending the e in that ur call kc0 wkp echo test So as you can see, while we are quite a ways away from this repeater, we got uh, a, a decent signal there, and uh, we actually got good audio into that repeater, and it repeated it back to us. And you can save these as memory channels, so you could save a command on different memory channels. I do that sometimes, um, but typically I just use the call sign menu to change what I'm doing. Um, then again, we can link back to 19 Bravo, put that REF019BL, so that's just a link command. All we do is kerchunk the repeater, and it'll link up. Link to REF019Bravo. And then once we're done with that, I want to chat with somebody on the reflector. I just put the CQ, CQ, CQ back in the UR call, and we're ready to talk on the reflect on the repeater. KC0 WKP testing Race Lake. And there we go. Now that's a quick, easy, simple way. However, there's a lot of different ways to do it. We'll do another video here shortly on the DR mode. Jack and Reese Parks real good. And uh, there's one of my friends down in southern Wisconsin. Uh, he's probably on the Baraboo repeater. And he heard me as we set that CQCQ up and reconnected back to the reflector. Radio Geek, out.